You want to build a PC, but you don't know exactly what type of power supply to get. I'm Chris Mizo, and I'm here to help you figure out which type of power supply you should get, especially in the year 2024. It's become a little bit of a complicated process, but I'm going to make it easier just by simply giving you a list. Now I can give more details about power supplies and more information if you like. If you do want that type of information, make sure you put it down in the comments down below. If you guys don't really care too much about video format, make sure you go down in the description box down below. For number nine, I'm gonna mention the Corsair RMX Shift. It's quite an amazing product because it isn't like your standard power supply. This power supply doesn't simply just go from the back of the power supply to have these connections. They have them right on the side, so it makes it much more easier to connect your power supply to all the necessary cables. It is a ATX 3.1 and this is a gold power supply. Most importantly, you wanna know about the pricing of the Corsair RMX Shift and that is currently at 209.99 USD. For number eight, I gotta mention NZXT C1000. Now the great thing about NZXTs, it is a ATX 3.1. So it is a more modern power supply. It is more secure than the typical ATX 3. Now 3.1 gives it a more better connection between the 12 volt high power port, especially for those who have NVIDIA 40 series cards. As 135 millimeter fluid dynamic bearing in there, which helps the power supply remain really silent. It uses Japanese capacitors, which is our high quality capacitors, so you don't have to worry about your power supply burning out. That's why it is important to get a really good power supply. Now, the great part is NZXT's C1000 is only $159. 99 USD. For number seven is Seasonic's Prime TX ATX3. They don't have ATX 3.1. I kind of feel like I should have put that more in the number eight slot. If you don't mind that it is an ATX 3.1, there's a very good reason why I put it at this very slot. It is a platinum power supply. It runs at 92% power efficiency on a 50% load. This power supply is also great because it actually has digital fan control software. It keeps your power supply silent. You won't even know that you have it in there. It does have a fluid dynamic bearing fan and it does use Japanese capacitors. And most importantly, because it uses a cable-free design inside of this PSU. On the back panel and the PCB are actually connected by a copper plate, which also lowers the chance of any type of production errors. And it does improve the output of this power supply. It does have a 12 volt high power port. If you are looking for that, if you are a NVIDIA 40 series owner, or if you're planning to get a RTX 40 series or the 50 series when it eventually comes out. The reason why I put it at number seven is because of the high pricing. Now, Seasonic's power supply is as high as $501. And the reason being is that it is a 1600 watt PSU. For number six, I got to mention Thermal Takes SFX. Now, I know Thermal Take has gotten a lot of hate, especially back then when they first made power supplies. It's no secret that they weren't the greatest. They have vastly improved, especially in production. Thermal Takes SFX does have a ATX 3.1. On top of it, it uses Japanese capacitors and it is a platinum certified power supply. It does have 12 volt high power port, uh, similar to the thermal take power supply that I actually currently use, but I have the older one, which is the GF3. The newer ones are the SFX Platinums. It is a pretty compact power supply. This power supply is PCI Express 5.1 ready. It supports two 12 volt high power ports. Most importantly, it's quiet for what it is, but sometimes it can pick up a little bit noise when you do put this power supply to sleep. And most importantly, it helps avoid any type of voltage spiking. And you could purchase the 1000 watt power supply for $199.99 USD. For number five is Cooler Masters X Silent Power Supply. This is personally one of my favorites, but also one of the more expensive, just like Seasonic's. Reason why it's so expensive? It's fanless. It's not gonna make any noise because it doesn't have a fan. On top of it, it is a platinum certified power supply. It does use Japanese capacitors and even has a 15 year warranty on the power supply. That's how much they guarantee it. You can even have this more than just 
one generation of PC building, you could have it through several. It is a ATX 3.1 power supply. On top of it, to purchase this power supplies, it is 399. 99 USD. Number four is one of my personal favorite companies out there, and that's Be Quiet. Dark Power 13 will just show you that. It is a titanium efficiency power supply. It does have ATX 3.0 compliance. It is up to 95.2 percent efficiency hence why it reached the number five spot does have 12 volt hot power port and again it isn't quite ready for pci express 5.1 that is why it is also at the number five spot it has air inlets that help air circulation which keeps this psu nice and cool the fans don't really kick on in it and on top of it it even has overclocking key switches which help prevent any type of voltage spiking most importantly best part is it has a 10-year manufacturer's warranty so these psus are getting better when it comes to their warranties you can purchase the 1000 watt power supply as low as 219.99 usd the number three spot is probably something that you've heard of but you probably haven't heard much of their power supplies and that is FSP's Hydro TI Pro. This power supply does have high efficiency. It is ATX 3.0 ready, PCI Express 5.0 ready. So it isn't a ATX 3.1 power supply just yet. It does have a coating in there, which prevents any type of staining or dusting on this power supply. On top of it, it is titanium certified. It's up to 94% efficiency. It is a hydro bearing, very quiet and it's excellent when it comes to power loads and gaming. You can purchase this 1000 watt power supply as low as 229.99 USD. In the number two spot is the Asus ROG Strix. It is a platinum power supply. It gives a very stable power delivery, which prevents any type of voltage spiking. It uses a GAN MOSFET. It gives much more power efficiency by up to 30%. It also uses large heat sinks with this power supply so it keeps it nice and quiet and on top of it the fans are very unique because they use dual bearing fans it has zero decibel technology it is a atx 3.1 compatible power supply so it is ready for pci express 5.1 this power supply has a patent which is called gpu first what it does is ensures a steady flow of voltage to your GPU, including any type of overclocking. ASUS gives a 10-year warranty. You can purchase this power supply as low as $179.99 USD. Now for the number one power supply that is out there is MSI Mag's A12 50GL. This is was a tough decision because you have to compare it with the ASUS ROG Strix power supply. It is rated as only a gold power supply, so the efficiency isn't as high, but it is also ATX 3.1 ready, ready for PCI Express 5.1. It does have 12 volt high power port. Not only that, it does have two total power excursion, even up to three times power excursions for GPUs. It is a compact size and it prevents any type of overvolting. The best part is it uses flat cables, so it doesn't really get in the way of anything. They even color code their cables to make it easier for you when you do build your PC, so you know which one is the 12 volt high power port or the eight pin connector, even the 24 pin ATX cable. This is a FDB fan, which is a fluid dynamic fan. It is nice and silent. It doesn't have dual bearings like the Asus Strix Platinum power supply does, but it does use a single ball bearing, which is still quiet. It does have protections when it comes to overvolting, such as over current protection, over temperature protection, over voltage protection, over power protection, all types of protection to make you feel confident in this power supply without it burning out. You can purchase this power supply as low as 219.99 USD. Now, if you're interested in any of these power supplies, make sure you go down in the description box down below. And also, I hope you found this video very useful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you know anybody else who is interested in building a PC and needs to know some of the best power supplies or even needs to update their power supply, make sure to hit that share button with them. And also, if you're not part of the big wonderful fan band, make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button for more. And don't forget to hit the notification bell for all the newest updates. Make sure you follow my X handle right here, as it is the same as my TikTok and IG as well. Fan band guys, thank you guys so much for watching. This is Chris Misa signing out.